Hi everyone! Welcome to Daybreak English. We're going to get into the Christmas spirit today. Oh, that's a good expression. To get into the Christmas spirit is to do festive activities that help you feel like it's really Christmas time. So here are 12 traditional activities that people do over the Christmas season. I'm going to show you the verbs most commonly used for each activity. Number one, to decorate the tree. Kids and adults just love decorating the Christmas tree with baubles, fairy lights, tinsel, and other Christmas decorations. In North America, you might hear trim the tree. Normally, trimming the tree means to cut the branches of the tree, but at Christmas time, it's the same as decorating the Christmas tree. Number two, to wrap the presents. Presents or gifts. The words are synonyms. Use whichever one you like. When you cover the presents or gifts in pretty paper, that is called wrapping. We wrap the presents. But you probably need to buy or make them first before you wrap them. Number three, to wear a Christmas jumper or sweater as it's known in the USA. In the UK, it is a funny tradition that people take very seriously. It's almost a competition to see whose jumper will be the silliest. We don't do this one in Australia because it's too hot, but people might wear a Christmas t-shirt instead. To hang a stocking. In the old days, people used to hang their stockings over the fireplace to get them dry. And on Christmas morning, there would be little gifts inside them. These days, we use special stockings that are much bigger and decorated and can fit in a lot more gifts. To fill or stuff a stocking. Father Christmas, who is also known as Santa Claus, fills or stuffs the stockings with gifts on Christmas Eve. Fill a stocking, stuff a stocking, Use either one. Stuff a stocking is more common in North America. Little presents that go into the stockings are known as stocking fillers or stocking stuffers. But you don't have to wait for Santa Claus. You can stuff a stocking yourself to give as a gift. To kiss under the mistletoe. Whenever you are standing under the mistletoe, Someone nearby is supposed to give you a kiss. <gasps> oh, there's no one here. Oh, you are. To make a Chris tingle. This is a strange but cute tradition of German origin that is extremely popular in the UK. I had never seen one before I came here. It's a Christian tradition that uses oranges, toothpicks, sweets, a candle, and a red ribbon to describe the story of Jesus coming to earth. Churches and schools often have a Chris Tingle service just for the children. Number eight, to visit Santa's grotto. A grotto is like a small cave and Santa's grotto is usually a little place at a shopping mall or somewhere like that which is beautifully decorated and has a big chair for Santa Claus to sit on. The children take turns visiting Santa to tell him what they want for Christmas. Number nine, to sing Christmas carols. Carols are special songs that we sing at Christmas time. If you are in a Western country, most churches or town councils will host a Christmas carol service. If not, there will be something on TV for you to join in. Carols by Candlelight is a very popular event in Australia 
And because it's so hot, we do it outside. So people light candles and wave glow sticks as they sing carols. It's beautiful. Number 10, to roast chestnuts. You can roast your chestnuts in the oven, but it is best done over an open fire or charcoals. It's a popular tradition in North America, but people also do it here in the UK. I still haven't had a chance to try one after nine years living in the UK, but I really want to, maybe this year. Number 11, to donate to charity. Donating to a charity is giving money or something else that the charity needs to help others. At this time of year, when people are getting into the Christmas spirit, it is very common for people to donate to charity, especially charities that are providing something for people who can't afford a nice Christmas dinner or gifts for their children. It really warms the cockles of your heart. That's a funny expression to describe that warm feeling you get when you do something good for other people. And finally, number 12, to build a snowman. Okay, so you can only do this if it is actually snowing and it usually doesn't snow around here until January or February. But the verb we use is build. You could also say make a snowman, but build a snowman is more common. Remember the song in the movie Frozen? You know the one. So, do you want to build a snowman? I certainly do. I hope we get some good snow this year. Wherever you are, have a very happy Christmas. Thanks for watching. Bye.